everybody, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and I am wearing an apron so you know what that means It's another planting with Julian episode I'm super excited guys to be doing all things plants today And if you guys love watching my planting with Julian episodes Then let me know down in the comments below and give me a thumbs up So I've been up since 4.30 this morning for work in the Pilates studio And I'm so happy to be here in my patio The weather is gorgeous here in Santa Monica Ebby is I think chilling in the house so maybe she'll say goodbye at the end of the video I have a bunch of new babies guys that you have seen on my recent plant haul videos and these are succulents and cactuses that have been from my Las Vegas hauls as well as my California hauls and I'm going to be also repotting a bunch of my babies that already exist in my collection as well as my two Pelia cuttings that I have been water propagating I think now for over a month now so I'm super excited it's a very big long video but it's very therapeutic for me to go ahead and do planting and I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. So I have succulent and cactus mixed dirt here. I'm going to go ahead and just in no particular order, let's plant these babies. So first thing I want to do, which I'm super excited about, is this guy right here. So this was one of the succulents that I went ahead and I picked up, I believe, in my Las Vegas haul. You see, I have so many plants I can't remember. So... It has like really cute fuzzies here and it kind of gives me that California vibe. You see this kind of in a lot of different homes in their front yards here in California. So I have the perfect planter for it. And this planter, guys, is an existing one that I had and it was actually living on my shelfie back here with the Haworthia, which is not doing good. So I put it in a water propagation system to kind of get it back to its life. Here is what the condition of the plant looks. Looks like a healthy root system for me. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of dig a little hole in the center and see how I like placement here. I think this is a good level here. What do you guys think? That looks so adorable, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead and just fill it in really quickly with some dirt and that will be good to go. So I have my little shovel here. And what I'm going to do is over my potting tray, I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the edges here. Now I do have a potting bench and I will go ahead and do a potting bench tour in the near future so stay tuned for that. But when I do my planting videos for my channel, I love doing my planting videos on my Tiffany Blue table because I have everything in front of me and I just I love being able to just work in a big space. But I don't know, we'll see. Now that I have more patio furniture in my patio with my wicker chairs here, I may go ahead and rearrange my patio space when my grandma gets here in a couple of weeks and then we'll see maybe i'll move my potting bench to a different section where i can go ahead and use it in my planting with julian episodes but for now the potting tray is fine it's very inexpensive so if you guys do not have room for a potting bench or just the funds you don't have for a potting bench because they're super expensive a potting tray over a regular table would be just fine so let's go ahead and work the dirt into the edges here and if you guys are not familiar with my channel, I do have a little toothbrush, which is probably on my potting bench. I'll go ahead and brush them off at the end of the video. So I just like to work quickly because I think I have over 15 plants that I want to plant in today's video. It's going to be a very lengthy video. So hope you guys enjoy this episode. And my plants actually got rained on over the weekend so today is thursday so over the weekend friday and saturday it rained so my plants was able to get a nice shower which was really good for them i think a lot of my house plants from inside of my home came outside for the weekend's rain and i just was really happy about that so it doesn't really rain much where i live in santa monica this is probably like the second time it ever rained since i've been in this house okay guys I'm going to do a little bit more dirt here. And if you guys watched my recent Planting with Julian episode at our old house in Las Vegas, you've seen my improv tools. I did use a plastic spoon and fork to handle my cactuses. So you can go ahead and do that if you don't have these. Like a little shovel, you know, just improv and that's fine. And that looks pretty good. So then I like to go down with my fingers, pack the dirt down in the crevices here and just make sure that it's nice and stable inside here. And that is going to be it for this one. I think it looks adorable. 
good. What do you guys think? I'll clean up the planter at the end, dust it off without damaging the succulents. I think it's adorable and I'm so glad this worked out. The Haworthia in this planter was super cute, but it's fine, you know, it happens. It wasn't doing good in this planter. We'll see how this does in its new home. Moving along to the next baby. Yay, I am in love with this one. So cute. Here's an existing baby that is kind of tilted to the side, as you can see. It's been living on my shelfie behind me in this owl planter. But because it's looking a little sparse in this planter, I got a bunch of new small planters if you've seen on my Las Vegas haul. And I'm going to go ahead and transplant it in this. And then I'll go ahead and put another succulent in here that's going to fill up the centerpiece of this owl. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And then I have this guy right here, which has a hole here, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and plop him in and I'm going to rearrange him. So let's add a little bit of dirt here. So that's fine, you know, and this owl planter will go to a new plant baby. And I do that whenever it's time to change things out here. So this guy, as you can see, is looking a little bit sad and it's tilted to the side, probably reaching towards the sun. I try to be really good about my plants where I like to rotate them on my plant shelfie so that they're not leaning in this direction. Um, but it's all good. We'll go ahead, replant it in this one so it's more proportionate to the planter and the size that it's at right now. And we'll see how it does. And again, because it's facing this way, I'll go ahead and turn it this way on the shelf if I do decide to put it back on the shelf. I haven't decided yet how I'm going to style these new small planters because I have a bunch of them and I just kind of want to see them all grouped together in a line perhaps on a shelf. Who knows? It's white. I love it. Good. So hopefully in time it'll come straight back up. That is the goal. We'll just have to train it. And that looks pretty good for now. I want it to be in the center here. Yay! Alright, what do you guys think about this one? It is adorable, huh? It looks better compared to like in the existing owl planter that it was in. I think it looks more proportionate in this one and then eventually in time it'll face that direction and it'll look better so now that i have this guy free i have my variegated bear paw do you guys remember this one in my las vegas star nursery haul i'm gonna go ahead and put it in here and i think it's gonna look adorable we'll just empty it out a little bit here to give it some space and then slowly and i know this one is very fragile we're gonna just turn it upside down good very gently press the dirt down into the planter here without breaking any of the paws off these succulents are so fragile you just gotta handle them with care so in situations like this I like to have a bare hand versus a garden glove on um, so I can really get in without breaking any of the paws off guys this is like working out so great so you know one moved out and another moved in so cute what do you guys think about this one isn't that adorable it just worked out great you look so cute i love my variegated bear paw do you guys love this succulent it's so cute so all right that's the third baby replanted now Moving along to this guy here. This is my pin cushion. Yes, my go name pin cushion. I actually gave one like this away to the giveaway winner all the way out in Florida, which I'm super excited to have given out one of these guys here. Also, in my giveaway, I did give a big J cutting to the winner from my tree. So that's nice because if you guys watch my channel and seen my video about my J, then you know. I just want to give my jade away to like as much people as I can because I want my jade to live on after all the drama that it's been through. So here's another planter that I got. I have a bunch of these now in two different designs. But I love the fact that there's like the Tiffany blue in the inside. So now this, I'm going to have to grab my garden glove. Because I don't want to get poked. And 
I'm gonna go ahead and just handle it with care. Grab my planter here, turn it here, and then without damaging the cactus or my fingers, we're gonna go ahead and fill the insides here. And I'll go ahead and give it a brushing after at the end when everybody's planted to get the dirt off. But we must work quickly because I have so many plant babies that need to be planted and the sun goes down so fast in my patio. All right. So that looks good. Good, here's my toothbrush. We'll just go ahead and dust it off real quick. So here is another plant baby. I'll go ahead and clean up all of the planters at the end. This came out just exactly as I imagined it to be super cute. All right, that was number four, guys. So moving along to another cactus. So this guy here is an existing baby in my plant collection. I kind of want it in this planter because it just would look really nice with the rest of them in these planters. And I feel like I could put a bigger succulent in here to fill up the space more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this into the new planters. And I think it's just going to look aesthetically better in here. Let's add a little bit more dirt. So I'm just doing the change because of the aesthetic of the plant. And I think it will look much proportionate in this planter. And it will match everybody else that is going to be in this planters. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think as far as for how should I style these small white planters. I may want to put it in my house, but at the same time, I don't have a lot of space in my house for plants on a shelf-wise. Um, I do have my plant shelfie out here behind me with a lot of cactus and succulents, smaller pieces-wise. Um, so maybe I might just go ahead and just spread them throughout here with terracotta planters in between. I haven't decided yet. I just knew that I wanted a bunch of them so that I can put smaller pieces like this in them and they'll just look adorable. So, go ahead and do this. And you can get the end of the toothbrush to pack down the dirt here. So I like to have it nice and compact. What do you guys think? Does this look better? I think so. Just a per personal preference. Good. Works for me. So that was number five, guys. This is my fifth one. All right, moving along with my Orthia, which you guys seen on my plant haul. So I have an existing terracotta. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the garden center planter. Let's stack these up in here neatly. I always save these guys for like my propagated succulents and stuff like that. So let's see what this looks like in here. Good. I think that works out perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out where I want to fill in the spaces on this one. I am in love with this Haworthia. This is such a rad plant. I'm so like stoked that I found this one. It's interesting how many variations of a plant you can find. And they all have little different unique personality traits which I think makes collecting plants super fun. It's like never ending. You just can't keep on collecting them. So again, I'm using my finger to compact the dirt down and just kind of get the placement of how I want the plant to be without damaging any of parts of the plant here. Quick dust here. My toothbrush to get into the crevices. Good. 
And there is my planted Hawarthia. I think it looks absolutely adorable in this terracotta planter. Again, if I had a lot of white planters, I would definitely put it in a white planter. So that was my sixth plant. Moving along to my Echeveria. This is also in my plant hall in Las Vegas. This planter has been hanging out with the rest of my planters on my potting bench. You guys know I love to just keep them on hand because you just never know. Knowing me, I like buy plants pretty often, like every week. They'll get filled up quickly. So, let's check placement. And again, using my finger to pat down the dirt and find placement. And then I'll go ahead and fill in the gaps here. So I like to just press down the existing dirt from the planter into the terracotta with my finger. And um, that is just going to keep the succulent in place, nice and grounded. Pressing the edges down with my finger, being very careful. Now that it's nice and in there, I'm gonna go ahead and just, doesn't need much, but I'll just do a little of filling in the gaps here without too much. That's good enough, works for me. All right guys, I'm gonna get my toothbrush and then I'm just going to just pat the dirt in. Get it nice and grounded in this planter. Hmm. Good. That's good enough. What do you guys think? Super cute? So that is number seven. So that's my seventh baby here. Moving along to... Alright guys, I see what I want to do. Here's one guy here. So this guy here has been living in a terracotta in the back of my shelf which was probably one of these terracottas here it just looked really sad in the terracotta i think maybe if i give it a new home it might do well we'll see Let's see how it'll look what do you guys think my poor guy looks sad let's go ahead and just bring up the dirt a little bit more Then I'm going to get my toothbrush and compact it down to get it nice and grounded in here. And that's going to be it for this guy. What do you guys think? Does it look better? I think it looks better here. Okay, I believe in you little one. Hopefully you'll like this new home of yours better than your terracotta. Here's another cactus. It's a silken silken pin cushion, which was part of my Star Nursery haul. I'm gonna put it again in one of those small planters because I think it's absolutely adorable if they could all just line up in a row together in a white theme. So I have this guy here. Let's fill it up with a little dirt here. And this guy is a little bit taller. And this pin cushion, guys, is like the worst thing. You do not want this sticking into your glove because it hooks. There's little hooks here. It's just like the worst thing ever. So without getting poked, that looks about right. Let's fill in the gaps here and then pack it down with the toothbrush end. Working quickly. We're about halfway through with the planting for today's video. There's a lot of babies in today's video, which makes me happy. They're graduating into a planter. Just so satisfying to see them in a cute little planter. I'm always on the lookout for planters, guys. Always. Because you just never know. If you're into plants, you just know that you're going to want to get more plants. And then you're just going to have to want to put them in a planter. I think that looks good. Let's pat it down with a toothbrush. Let's get it nice and grounded in here. Absolutely adorable. This guy is a pain to get stuck on you. Don't forget this silken pin cushion. Just be careful because the hooks goes down and it just hooks onto you and it hurts. And also these little white fuzzy things too come off. So just be careful if you guys ever get this little guy. Still cute but very scary to handle. 
Let me just fill it in a little bit more here. All right, Julian. Good enough for me. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number eight. Woo! All right, we're gonna do a little switch out here. I have this succulent, which is also featured in my bedroom in the Las Vegas house. And as you can see, it's spewed out and it's growing up. I don't like that. I'm gonna try to fix it without breaking anything. And then I'm gonna use this terracotta for another plant here. I'm gonna try to see if it can fit in one of these planters here. And then maybe it'll grow up right in its new planter. I wanna try to get it to be growing upwards. So let's see. Can you fill in the gaps, Julian, and make it stand up? We'll see. This succulent is so fragile. If you're not careful, this whole thing can fall apart. So now I'm going to lay it down carefully on this side. And then fill in the gaps on this end here without breaking any one of them. All right. Let's push this in. And this side in. I'm gonna have to use my toothbrush here. And then push it in. I don't know. This just looks better to me than in the terracotta. Hopefully, I'm gonna go ahead and face it towards this way, towards the sun, and hopefully it'll go up that way. And then when I took it out, I had this part off. So you know what I'm gonna do? They have roots here. If you look, let me take my gloves off since this is not a cactus. So these already have little, little tiny roots here. I'm gonna just go ahead and just stick it in here. And this too also has little roots. I'm gonna stick it in here as well. So that's fine. It'll just root itself in here. And that is going to be this new repotted baby. I think this is going to do better in this planter. I believe in you, little one. And I will go ahead and face it towards this direction, towards the sun, and then hopefully all of this will move that way. And it won't look so wild and crazy. Because you're looking a little crazy over here. I think this is so cute. There's like little babies over here. I'm not worried. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is my tenth baby, guys, and we still have tons to go. Are you guys still with me? Alright. Let's not damage any one of them do you guys remember this echeveria so now that this terracotta is empty i'm gonna go ahead squeeze this guy out check placement here perfect and then i'm gonna go ahead and fill in the gaps here super cute i love this thing kind of reminds me of like a lotus or something a lotus zen vibe to it i love like the dimension and the layers to this okay now with my toothbrush again patting it in nice and compact in there without damaging anybody the weather's so beautiful guys like i really want mochi ice cream after this i think it was girls day um, the other day on the 5th of March, it's a Japanese slash Hawaiian. We celebrated in Hawaii because there's so much Japanese influence, but it is a Japanese celebratory day, um, basically celebrating girls. All right, guys, so this Echeveria is replanted into a terracotta pot. I love it. If you can see next to the other Echeveria I got, I think they just look adorable in these terracottas. So I'm so excited they were able to get planted in today's video. Moving along with my, you guys already said in the comments down below, I read them today, that this is a sunrise succulent and you guys are right. I'm pretty sure you're right. I did go ahead and do a quick search on the internet. So we'll see how this looks like. I haven't seen a big picture of this, but I have three little babies here. I'm going to handle them with care without making them fall apart on me. Succulents are so fragile. All right. Let's see what it looks like. I think I'm going to need a little bit of dirt here. So, a little bit of dirt on the bottom. Good. Stick this little guy in here. Be so, ever so gentle with this one. 
I think it's adorable. What do you guys think? And then let's go ahead and fill this up with dirt on the side. Super, super cute. This makes me happy. Getting my little toothbrush, packing it in without hurting the baby. I think this is absolutely adorable. Aww. Let's give it a little bit more dirt. You guys, it's so dainty. It's so cute. Graduating into your new home. Of course, I had to put it in a white planter. All right, guys. This works for me. All right, guys. What do you think about this? Super cute, huh? So now we're well over 10 babies potted. This, guys, makes me super happy. So... Do you remember my rescue succulents that I got just petals from the sidewalk by the Santa Monica stairs? I did a whole video on that. This is my biggest baby. I ended up putting it in a water propagation system and look at it. There's tons of roots here and just look at all of this. This is all off of one rescued leaf. So you can consider this an update and I wanted to go ahead and plant it in today's video and a new white planter. Cute. Oh my god, guys, this is adorable. I am obsessed. So this just makes me happy. I rescued this as a bunch of my other leaves, which aren't as big as this. This is my biggest one, guys, from that rescue. It was just one leaf on the ground, and now I have a beautiful baby succulent from it. Isn't that adorable? I think that looks so cute. All right slowly getting there guys so i have this guy it's looking kind of crazy in this planter this has been sitting in the back of of me on the plant shelf i'm gonna go ahead and just transplant it because it looks really sad and then we'll go ahead and use this planter for something else a little bigger piece so here it is right here okay so I have an empty blue planter now that one of my babies just came out of. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in here because I think it just looks better in this planter. Evie's going crazy. I don't know what she's going crazy about. Sometimes there's like little squirrels here and she sees them up in the tree and she just gets so upset seeing them. And then one time I remember there was raccoons, three big ones in my backyard behind the house. And she, she was in the back there like barking at them. And I was so scared. I haven't seen raccoons ever in my entire life because we don't have raccoons in Hawaii. And they were bigger than Ebby. And I was with my flashlight yelling at her to get in the house. I was so scared. And like I leave my patio door open too um, when I'm home so that we can go ahead and enjoy the patio. And I'm like, good thing they didn't come into the house to try to steal some food. So, I'm trying to just see how I like the placement here. I'm going to go ahead and pack some dirt on this end here so that it's more upright. It looks better. I mean, I did plant a portion of it under the dirt, but it's fine. Here it is. Looks better. I have it uh, a little bit deeper in the planter, but that's fine. I think it looks better like this. So now that I have this planter available, I have my new baby, which I talked about in a recent Las Vegas haul. I'm going to put it in here because I think it'll work better in this planter. So without getting poked, and this is what I do. I get an empty nursery planter and I turn it upside down in here. Ta-da! I don't get poked. So let's check placement. I want to say that I can put a little bit of dirt on the bottom here. Just a little. And then let's go ahead and plop this down and check placement. So I'm going to hold this 
guy like this while I plant him so that it protects my hand. So as you can see here, I think I want it like this. And then I'm gonna get an existing small planter from the nursery. This had my little uh, sunrise succulent in here. I'm gonna use it as a scooper here. I'm just fill in the gaps. I think this is going to look stunning. Ah, look at that. And then coming on this side. Okay, guys, I think this looks good. Yay! It is adorable in this planter. I'm glad that worked out. So we just moved homes here. That's not, that's not a bad thing, right? So we had one baby move out, which gave room for a new baby to move in. I'm gonna use my toothbrush to just pack the dirt in. And guys, I think this is stunning. It worked out really great. So if you can see the difference here in size, this guy was in here and it just didn't look right, but I think they look adorable side by side. And if you think about it, I think this is the same cactus. What do you guys think? Just a little smaller, huh? I think this is the same variation didn't know that see this is what happens when you have like multiple babies you just randomly get the same baby and you don't even know that that, that happens one thing i want to do i have this guy in here it's doing great okay this has been living in my bathroom and um you haven't seen it living in my bathroom because i haven't done an updated bathroom plant tour which i will but as you can see it's getting tight here on the edges which is fine but i want to see if my new white planter here will work better with the proportion of this cactus. Problem is guys, is that this thing is a lot of work where you don't wanna go ahead and poke yourself. So what I'm gonna do is kind of scoop the baby out this way, like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and gently Hold it like this. And we're gonna get an empty planter here. Fill the bottom in with a little dirt. Now that I see what the roots look like, because if there was more roots, maybe I wouldn't have to fill the bottom of the planter. But I think I want a little bit more dirt here before I place this in. All right, guys, so let's slowly put this guy in this thing went through my glove and it hurt i want a little bit more dirt in here to rise it up a little bit so scooping this baby out here working quickly who knows it might not even work in here we don't know until we try so I think that will work. Let's see here. Mm, maybe it'll work, guys. Holding it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the gaps. Okay. That looks good. Then we're going to tilt it this way here, forward, and then filling the gap on this end. Once this side is filled up, I'm gonna go ahead and pat down the dirt on both ends and see the status of this plant. I think it works better in this planter. What do you guys think? That wasn't very necessary of me to go ahead and change it out, but I felt like the edges were a little bit more compact to the planter where this one there's a little bit a micro more room on both ends of the cactus so that there's room for growth i don't want it to compromise its growth because of the planter so that looks slightly better already what do you guys think 
we'll clean it up and it'll look better but for now that takes care of that i don't want to mess with it too much don't worry guys i will go ahead and brush it off like this towards the end of the video they'll get a little cleaning but it's just simple as this you get a toothbrush and you just brush the dirt off like that good enough for now i think this looks better already in this planter that makes me happy with this empty planter we're gonna put the elephant's food in all right so let's go ahead and make some room here there's a lot of roots in here so let's see how that works out there is dirt already existing on the bottom i'm just going to cover up the root system here on the top and i think this works better in this planter versus that other cactus i like the proportion and aesthetic of the elephant's food in this tall planter so just a quick little switch out plus i want this one in a planter too up a little bit elephant's food i don't know i had a variegated one with this one and it just it didn't like the switch from las vegas to santa monica and this is what's left of my elephant's food collection because they were both really big pieces they were living together in the same planter kind of upset that this one is looking sad and the other one my variegated one ended up dying on me but we won't focus on the negative we'll fix we'll focus on the positive here that this one is still living and you are in a brand new home what do you guys think about that that looks better already right so that's what i do when i have a lot of new plant babies guys i figure out what's not working i can go ahead switch it out to a different planter maybe use that planter for a new baby vice versa and i just do that with my whole collection i have so many planters and my plants they change um on me so you just never know what's gonna happen but i think this worked out really great we have one more succulent and it's this guy right here so this guys is my wild succulents i picked this from the mountains in northern california i used to live in the bay area and i used to pick wild succulents a lot i used to do most of my projects with wild succulents so this was pretty much a small little baby like this and it grew all this here now i want to try to see what the conditions are if i can go ahead scoop it out and put it into a different planter because it's just been living in this bowl for a good minute and i feel like because it's doing so good on me i want to go ahead and put it into a different planter and just show my appreciation for them it's been working really hard in this planter i don't know how rooted this thing is but i don't want to damage it but i do want to go ahead and put it in a better planter than a bowl okay Let's see what I can do for you, cute little guy. Slowly pulling it out of the dirt without ruining the roots here. I've worked so hard, guys, planting this. Okay, so you know what I could do? Maybe I can put it in this planter. Do you guys think it'll work out? It's one of my new planters here. I think so. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Fill this with dirt on the bottom to bring it up more. Yeah? Then, plop this guy in here, like so. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I worked so hard growing this from nothing. This is a wild succulent from the mountainside. Northern California, this makes me so happy. And then what I'm gonna do is, I see a lot of dead babies here. I'm just gonna slowly just pluck it off. Let me know down in the comments below, guys, if you have wild succulents in your area and what do they look like. In the Bay Area, there's tons of them and I used to go succulent hunting with Ebby and it was like what we used to do on our free time. Okay, so I'm going to compact down the dirt here without making a mess. For now, it'll live here. I have another existing baby here. We're just going to go ahead and pluck it down here. Who knows? Maybe I might switch it out in a little bit. 
I see another baby here. We're just gonna leave it as that. I don't know. What do you guys think? It looks kind of crazy, but I wanted to go ahead and just take it out of the bowl. You can consider this temporary housing, I guess? It's just like an awkward shape, you know, because it's a wild succulent. It's not meant to be in a planter, but we'll just add more dirt here. Stabilize it. See what happens. Check on it in a month. If it doesn't look good, we'll go ahead and take this out and put it into a different planter. But for now, at least I can explore the options of a new home than a bowl. So that's going to be it for this one. Looks crazy. I'll go ahead and clean up the planter, but I think that it deserved a new planter after it's hard work. This is all new growth, guys. So the last thing I want to do before I plant my Pelia babies is this cutting here. So this is part of my big piece, which I did share in a haul. It is part of my beaver tail cactus. I don't want to touch it because the pricks are crazy and they get in your skin. Uh, but this guy fell off during transportation and that happens. But I'm gonna go ahead and see if it'll fit this cutting in here. It has calloused over at the ends here. So it's time to be replanted. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some cactus succulent dirt in here. Might as well just pour the rest of this in here and fill it all up because there is no roots in here. We'll see what happens and of course if this doesn't work out in my next planting with julian episode maybe a month from now i'll go ahead and take this cutting out so as you can see here i'm gonna just slowly flip him without touching him and sticking it into dirt so with succulents and cactuses this is how you can propagate them letting it callous over and then sticking the end of it into a planter and it'll eventually work. Alright guys, so this is temporary housing for this cutting. I can easily go ahead and put it into this planter if I wanted to, but we'll see. I'll leave it in here for now. It'll root and then let's see what happens in the next few months. Um, but it's unfortunate that this guy did fall off of the mother plant, but it's fine. We'll just have this one pad in here and if another cactus or succulent comes along that fits in this planter we'll go ahead and just move houses and then they can go in this planter okay guys so i have my pelia cuttings up close and personal so you can see all of the roots the water roots here that has established itself over the last few weeks here so pelias are super easy to propagate and i'm gonna go ahead and plant these babies into the new white planters that I got so this makes me super excited that I can go ahead and plant this all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and do the last planting with Julian babies for today's episode by the way guys take a look at how big this one is I just love it super cute these are my last two existing cuttings right now until my mother plant gives me more babies who knows when that's gonna happen these are the last ones for now until further notice I have my two planters here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. I do have an animal planter, but I only have one more left. So two of my babies are currently living in animal planters. I do have this one, but I only have one. I don't have another animal planter. So I think I'm just gonna put these two in white planters so they can at least be in a matching aesthetic. This is the type of soil that I use for my house plants here. So I got this from Orchards. There's also different potting mix that I use from Star Nursery as well. But this is for container planters. And I just love using this for like my indoor plants, uh, any potted container plants, as well as any kind of veggies too, as you can see here. So this is just good all around potting soil versus my cactus and succulent mix, which I usually have in my Tiffany Blue um, dirt bin that you see a lot in my planting with Julian episodes i usually fill this up with succulent cactus dirt so this is the soil that i use i'm gonna go ahead and just fill these up really quickly so we have dirt here i'm gonna go ahead slowly take this guy out here 
It's your graduation day! Take a look at all of the roots here. This makes me so happy. So I'm gonna go ahead, poke a little hole here with my finger, drop this in here, and then with my fingers, pat it down in here to get it nice and compact in the dirt. Oh my gosh, this looks super adorable. Are you excited or what? You're graduating today to a planter with dirt. Wishing you lots of growth and more babies. My Pelia farm is growing. That makes me super happy. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. All right, guys, so this is one. Look at how adorable that is in this planter. I'm glad that worked out. Okay, so moving along to my second baby. Ah, look at all of that. That makes me so happy. Then I go ahead, make a little hole, and then I stick it in the center. Pat it down with dirt. Good, good. Call it a day. I saved these for last, of course. And I wanted to go ahead and plant it last week before I left for Las Vegas, but it's fine. This is the highlight of the Planting with Julian episode for today. Planting my last Pelia cuttings until further notice from my mother plant here, guys. All right, so what do you think? I think they're adorable. So I have all of my plant babies here all ganged up. I cleaned up my space and I think they look absolutely adorable. So the last thing I want to do is just show you my watering technique. So I like to go ahead and just spray down all of my babies here. So we'll do a little quick misting here. And I do this to all of my plants twice a week. Just so they get a little love here. And then after that, or before they do the misting, I like to water them. So quick technique here, which I got from Garden Answer, large channel here on YouTube. I have a syringe here and I go ahead and I soak up the water here into a syringe. I have my little cute watering pail, which I got from my Daiso Japan haul, if you guys watch my channel. So I have the syringe here, which I got from my dog's vet in Hawaii when she was sick. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just slowly go to the root ball here of the plant and get right in there and get the water exactly where I want it to be. So that's the general idea of how I go ahead and I water all of my plant babies. Let me know down in the comments below how do you guys plant your babies and water them. I'm really interested in hearing your guys' technique. And also to side note guys, for little babies like my Pelia baby that I did go ahead and graduate in water, I have the existing water from their propagation station. I just use the same water in there as their first watering because all of the hormones from the propagating system that they were in is still in here. So I like to just do that for the plant baby. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that for this one too here. So this is the water from the existing propagation that it was in and I just use the water from that in here. And that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this long Planting with Julian episode. I had so much fun filming for you guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you enjoy these Planting with Julian episodes. And I'll keep you guys posted on all of the upcoming updates on these plant babies here. I think they look absolutely adorable. I love them all equally and I'm just happy to see them in planters. If you guys love watching these videos, let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Until next time, you can find more on my blog at ellajulian.blogspot.com. Ebby's sleeping, so she's not in today's video, I guess. Ebby, where are you? Are you going to say bye to everybody? I think she's sleeping in her bed. Alright guys, aloha. Bye.